Hi class. Hi. So guess what we're doing? We're doing amazing sound catchers. These are also called mandalas. They're Asian symbols from all different cultures. For example, this one reminds me of a Tibetan symbol, like on a Tibetan book uh, from a long time, thousands of years ago. Or from this one looks like the Krita creation from Greece, a signs that I would see on the vases there in Grecian vases. And this one uh, looks like something I would see in Peru or Maya temples. This one looks very Native Americans, something that I would might see at Navajo Indian tribes. This one has sort of like almost a Russian connotation. So all these beautiful mandalas were, guess what? You think we copied them? No, these were free-handed. And guess what? We can do them in class, free-handed. And guess what? You can do them too. And what do we need? All we're going to need is four markers. You got either the cool colors. There can be variation, green, blue, or purple. Okay. Or you got the colors that are warm. Yellows, reds, pinks, or warm browns. And you're going to use a little square of tissue paper that doesn't have ridges on it. Okay. It's going to be super easy, I promise. So the tissue paper I'm using is just a regular roll, but it really is absorbent. And the markers I'm using are alcohol ink markers, and they will be spreading into the tissue. And I'll show you how. First thing that we're going to do is fold the tissue in half. Do it with me. And make a nice straight crease. That's going to be our first line of symmetry. And then we're going to fold it in half again to a nice little square. So this is the square that we're going to start working with. And I'll show you a little secret. All of these mandalas, when I fold them, they used to be that exact square. And look. All we did was we cut the edges in a colorful way, um, symmetrical way. So it can be, I don't know if you have ever tried to cut your own uh, snowflake, <laughs> snowflake during Christmas time. You might have done some cutting like this. So as you can see, this one was cut out a little more. And for the eye, symmetry it was this sort of shape see okay so but I want you to freehand your own shape and not worry about it so much and the way we're gonna do it is when you open it in the middle do a little dot just so you know you're not supposed to cut there because if you're gonna cut here you're actually going to cut off a hole inside of your mandala. And that's not what we're doing today. We could do it some other time if we're making snowflakes. But today, that's the part, mark part that we're not cutting. So do not cut here. We're going to cut a round little circle with some kind of pretty embellishments, some kind of pretty symmetry so let's try to uh, sketch it out so what we're gonna do is freehand instead of making a round line like this making a, see how it's not really straight so don't worry uh, you don't need to make a straight line you can make like a little round line or even a little something that looks like a triangle shape and then cut the triangle shapes. That way, it's going to be interesting. It's going to add nice composition to the cut line. And that's what we're going to cut. It. Take your time. You can design a nice little line. What kind of line are you making, Julia? I'm making a very square line. It shall go into a very uh, grid-like pattern. 
Oh, looks like a zigzag. You're using a zigzag line. Yes. And I'm I'm gonna start cutting because I think I'm ready. I'm gonna cut along that line. And when I am done cutting, I was cutting a little bit off camera. <laughs> oh. I can cut it again just a little bit. So I can cut, cut a straight one now. Then I can cut around what I drew. Simple cutouts. And when I open it, and Julie, go into the camera so they show how you see how you're cutting. Perfect. And when I opened it, I had a nice little edge that is very embellished and pretty, ready for my design. Reminds me a little bit of this edge. See? Or this one. And while Julia is cutting, I'll show you this edge is really neat too. Sort of more square like. And these are beautiful cool colors with a tiny little accent of that warm yellow, but everything is cool in here. And this is all warm colors. Okay, let's get started. Wow, look at this shape. That's different. That is very creative. All right, so what, we, what do we do now? Well, um, I would start with picking a color. It doesn't matter which color you start with. I'm gonna do cool colors. Julia is doing warm colors. And we can start by taking the white part of the marker to the corner, not the edge that you just cut, but the corner. And we're gonna start just holding it there, letting that alcohol ink marker or regular marker works too. Just pushing it down and let it seep into the paper towel. And I'm going to make like a half circle. And go a couple of times and I'll check. Look. And then I'll check again. Wow. That's a good start. It went through all my layers. What about, what about yours, Jolie? Let's see. So one didn't go through. Maybe it can be a little accent or you can finish that little square just by touching it up a little bit. Just like this. Perfect. Let's fold it over again and create some kind of interesting design. I'm thinking mine is looking like a flower. Maybe I'll do flowers and circles. So I'll do like little oval shape and I'll go over it a couple of times. Little long oval. And the bigger the shapes you're making, the more space clearly you're covering with your design. I'll go two ovals and one circle. That one went through all the way through, huh? Yes. We're going a little off camera. We have to go can come a little more in this area. I'll show you where the sign is, where it's best to keep it. Keep the camera right underneath the sign. Both, both sides, perfect. So show us how yours went through with the yellow. It worked all the way, mine didn't, see? So what happens with mine? I'll just go over the lines on the other side that didn't get pressed through, and I'll just try to fix it that way since I didn't put enough ink to go through. All right. And look, I, I only have the other side now to do. So I'll do that half oval again, like on this side. You doing all squares? Yes. Great. And I'll do one smaller one again. I'm gonna have to paint over on this side one more time. And 
this. I'm allowing it to seep through a little better. Maybe not rushing helps it spread better. What do you think helps it spread better? Pressing down. Pressing down a little Making bit. Making sure the alcohol has time to absorb for the paper. Wow, look at that. Look at that's an interesting design. It's a very pretty flower. Thank you. I like this a lot. It reminds me like an Incan and Peruvian design or Native American. Something I would see on a kachina doll or on a weaving or on a carpentry. Yes, Beautiful. a very geometric inspired design. Beautiful. So I saw that when I was sketching my beautiful sun catcher, I got some paint from the marker um, still left here. So I'll just go with that and I'll fill it in, make it into a design. So I'll fold my paper again and I will color it all through, taking my time, how you said, to let the alcohol ink sink through. Or a marker. Or a marker. Whatever ink you're working with. Okay. I'm making a beautiful little border in green with my cool colors for this design. I'm going to just finish this border and I can't wait to see and open it how it's going to look like. I'm going to ooh, see my other side didn't see through just enough and you have some fixing to do too so let's fix it up by painting the underside as well. This is a really great lesson because we're showing all at once how to do cool palette, green, blue, and purple, and warm palette, brown, yellows, and pinks, and reds. Look at that border. What do you think, Julie? Very pretty. Wow. I it like it. It reminds me of something Celtic. Celtic. Wow. Maybe I should go with that. I'm going to try to uh, paint half moon symbols for sort of like a Celtic design. Or knots would be another good one. Yes. Uh, I'm going to go with the light blue half moon. Looks like a moon. A little. Pretty cool moon. And then I'll check the underside. See how it's spreading? It's gonna actually spread not only through all the way through, but it's also spreading to the side, into the green. And that's a good thing. I'm gonna flip my mandala over and finish my moon on the other side. I really like this lesson. It's very relaxing, very colorful, and doesn't take too long to make amazing pieces of artwork. Wouldn't you agree? Yes, it's very serene. You can get just right absorbed into the art of crafting. And I think everybody should try it. Yes, it's very easy to do and can help you calm the mind. What do you think? Does it still look sort of Celtic? I think so. Awesome. What do you think I should add next? I think we should add a little bit more curves. Okay. That sounds like a good idea. How about I, if I fold it like so and I'll do half circles coming from here. 
in dark blue to complete the design. Maybe half circle through here one more time, completing more curves. And maybe a square or a rectangle, like so. And two rectangles over here. And just check if it printed on the other side. If it didn't, go over it one more time. And make sure it goes through all the way. I'll open it. Show me yours, Julia. One second. I can't wait. I'm kind of curious. That's really pretty now. Wow. Look at that. I like yours. Thank you very much. Wow. This is coming so nice. So the last thing that we're going to do is going to we're going to keep it open now. And we're just going to finish some detail. I think it's best so we can see it. Just with um, coloring in between the lines that we already did, beautifying and adding a little bit of texture here and there. You can add little dots or designs around. For example, as you can see in this design, there are a lot of little embellishments that were added after the design was created. So now we're gonna fill the white spots and color any areas with lighter colors. The darkers kind of created the actual symbolism and the design. And now we're just putting some lighter colors for contrast and to finish the design so it looks all beautiful and ready to place on a window and display it so you can catch sun can be used as a wonderful sun catcher. All I'm gonna do is freehand any kind of patterns, lines, dots, swirls, whatever you like to add to finish this time. You can try being free with it, whatever you like on your special sound catcher. I like these lines, I think. And some dots. I really like this design. And while Julie is finishing her beautiful design, I want to show you a quick little sunflower. This one would be best for younger grades, such as kindergarten or first grade. And it is using a little coffee filter. So coffee filters can be white, it can be a um, little tan color, and it should be really easy to cut through and make it into a flower. So, let me find a coffee filter. And notice that these are also done. We have one, just a regular coffee filter. This is brown one, but it can be white. Um, notice that this one is also made in warm colors and cool colors as well. You're gonna take out one coffee filter, or you might have one on your table already to try this and then make your own sunflower by folding the filter in half. Fold, fold the filter in half, then again in half. Again in half. And one more time. <laughs> and all we're gonna do is round the edges make them look more like a petal to a point, like a little pointy round petal. And guess what? When I open it, 
you guessed it it's gonna look like a flower and we do the same technique really nice and quickly by folding the flower now into this shape so just twice I folded it in half first and then one more time in half and then I can paint the middle and do a little middle design Check the other side. Oh, I have to redo it on the other side and go through all the way. A few little lines. Let's check the other side. lines here. I think I want to put more pigment but with a lighter color maybe. Letting it see through. Checking the other side. I really enjoyed this lesson. It can be very observing um, to colors and symmetry. It can observe all kinds of beautiful patterns. We can learn all about lines. Wow, that almost looks like an eye. Look at that interesting pattern. Very nice. It does look like an iris. Like an iris of an eye. Yay. <laughs> and look at yours. And I know you know what to do from here on. We are at 22 minutes. And we're almost uh, out of time for the video. And I'll see you next time in another class with Miss Kramer and with Julia. Have a wonderful, wonderful time. And I'll see you in class. And I can't wait to see your masterpieces. Bye.